look at this pickup here unique especially in classics let's check this out 1931 ford model a pickup gotta love the looks of these especially with that side mounted spare red wire wheels white wall tires all steel including fender so all steel truck red and black paint combination let's go ahead and take a look at the front blacked out grill chrome bumper headlight surrounds a classic look take your time looking through the still pictures of this unique classic cars.com click on the link down below the video in the description it's going to take you right there and of course you can call us 507-386-1726 as you can see, paint has a nice shine to it. Is it a high-end $20,000, $30,000 paint job? No, but does it still have a nice look to it? Yes, and I kind of say this in other videos, if you've seen the Model A's and Model T's, they talk about sometimes you get too fancy a paint job on one of these old ones, it almost looks out of place. It's kind of neat to see them a little bit war, maybe a little bit dull in the spot and maybe not quite even, but overall, this truck does show well. Like I said, is paint perfect on it? No, but does it definitely show well? Absolutely. Fun one for your local roll-ins, cruise-ins, local shows. And remember, we have an open door policy for third-party inspectors. If you want somebody to come take a peek at this for you, you can't make it yourself due to time or distance, feel free. We have third-party inspectors in quite often. We try to do a as fair of job representing these as we can with all the still pictures we take and walk around video like this in the driving video. This one really looks as good in person as it does the, the video and the pictures. Take your time looking through them, uniqueclassiccars.com. We're gonna fire it up, let's hear it run through, check out underneath that hood. But you can look here, there's maybe a little previous paintwork, a little repair. Maybe just some little things like that around it. But that's kind of what gives it that feel that it's old and the way it's supposed to look. All right, interior. Black vinyl bench seat, of course, the rubber flooring. Black door panels. Of course, that inline four-cylinder L-head paired up with the manual. 30-speed transmission. The gas shutoff for this is on the outside of the cowl, under the hood on the passenger side, up on the cowl. We can show you that when we open the hood. All right, let's turn it on. Of course, the starter's down on the floor, back under there. Choke is right here. Let's try it without the choke first off. There we go. Here's the gas gauges working the float there. Looks like a quarter of a tank. Make sure we're neutral. It looked like that seat was free of rips, tears, and holes. Slip around to the back, it sounds like you'd expect a Model A to sound. Those inline four cylinders definitely have that distinct sound. Listen to it purr. Alright. I'm going to pause this a second. It's going to take me a couple hands. I want to get this uh, one side of the hood open at least. Take a little peek at that engine bay. And here it is with the hood open. There it is, the uh, what, 201 cubic inch L head in line, four cylinder. Carburetor on this side, exhaust manifold, intake manifold. Then here is the cast shutoff. That's on, that's off, that's on. Turn right along. Cool little pickup, 1931 Ford Model A pickup, uniqueclassiccars.com, 507-386-1726, remember
Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. And of course, we can assist with transportation. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we're driving the 1931 Ford Model A. This is a really nice looking pickup truck. Red and black. Three speed on the floor. Our speedometer is working. The amps are reading just below zero. Not sure if that is accurate. This started up very nicely. Just turn on the fuel, push start, and let her idle for a little bit. Get out on the highway and at a little speed, see how she does.